Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Chris here again, just bringing in an update on the uh, first lunar landing. Um, as you can see, you've got the top section, the the ascent section uh, completed, and the lighting doesn't want to work with me today, as it usually does. Uh, it was just a lot of careful masking. Uh, and some foiling on this. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't as uh, time-consuming as the as the bottom part, but still took a while. Um, well, this is basically in, in three sections. You got one, two, three there. Um, we masked them all up separately, painted everything black, and then masked up the black areas and plant, painted uh, flat aluminium, and then. The areas where there's two black panels, like that and that, and just scraped away the edge to reveal the uh, the primer underneath. <coughs> um, all the antennas were foiled there and there, and that one there, um, and I also added a bit of gold fall around the little straps if it focuses there we go yeah <coughs> uh, these thruster clusters what they're sitting on they were also foiled like the rest of it crumbled up and then straightened out and then stuck glued on uh, the thruster clusters were also drilled out they were a solid solid piece of plastic so drill those out uh, with the combination of a very fine drill bit and then <coughs> using like a, a tool in the Dremel which is I guess it's like a reamer like a triangle conical I should say conical shape um, what else we got yeah we got gold foil in here in the doorway well, that's pretty much it, really. It is just all glued together. I um, it comes with the glass, which the lighting is not going to pick it up. But there's uh, in the windows there. There's some clear, uh, translucent sort of orangey yellow um, which you can't really see. But what I did inside is I printed out a um, <coughs> excuse me an interior shot. And just stuck it to the back wall so that when you look through the windows, at least you see something in there. You can't really see it, but I mean, if you did shine a light or something in there, it won't look, you know, blank. <coughs> and uh, yeah, the annoying thing about this is well, these things here are called plume deflectors, and from what I can understand, they deflect the plume from these thrusters so they don't melt the you know, the rest of the assembly here well none of them line up <laughs> I don't know what, how much protecting that's going to do or that one or that one's completely out of line so yeah that's kind of a bummer I didn't really I mean, if you look at it like that it's completely out I didn't really think of that when I was gluing them on but I mean even if you were to adjust them very slightly, it still wouldn't fit. And they wouldn't be, you know, vertical, they'd be sort of, you know, out of, out of alignment, off kilter. But anyway, I'm still happy with it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we've also added the decals, we've got the American flag there, and the United States one here. And just a bit worried about them sticking to the foil. It seems to be okay so far. I put a bit of that, uh, what do you call it? I was going to say Insta set. Um, <laughs> the, well, I use Mr. Mark Softer or Mr. Mark Setter. The setter for underneath to activate the glue and the softer on top to make it go into, to match the foil. But it's the same sort of stuff as Microset, Microsoft, just not as, uh, 
not as strong, so it doesn't melt the decals as much. <coughs> and the other things I've got here is some of the equipment. Uh, this is the retro reflector. These are all pretty basic. Uh, this seismic activity experiment or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever this dude that is. Just basically went on Google, found the images, and painted them up to match. It's a solar wind experiment to so just use the crumbled up foil technique again. Uh, the American flag. <clears throat> and this camera, which I'm thinking about chopping up because uh, they've didn't realize before but they've done it wrong they have the lens on like uh, what do you call it the, the horizontal side where it should be on this side well they're both horizontal I guess the wider side it should be on the small side the camera is actually that way not that way so I might have to shave that off Just flip this around and then get a bit of tube styrene or round styrene whatever maybe even a bit of sprue and stick it on that end. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Well, that's basically it for now. Uh, the next thing I've got to do is uh, work on the base and the astronauts. And then once that's done, I will um, put everything together and uh, that'll be the final video. So until then, I'll catch you later.